In this episode, I try to speak Italian. Quadrifoglio. Mackie and I install some blow off valves. We both giggle uncontrollably. <laughs> and then the QV makes some noise. Hello, everybody, and buongiorno. Today we're working on the Alfa Romeo again, the Giulia Quadrifoglio. So we are installing two things, or maybe one of two things. First is the Go Fast Bits or GFB blow valve rebuild kit. So the stock blow valves in these are made of just crappy plastic and stuff. So the insides just crumble apart. And then the car has trouble managing boost. We're putting in the rebuild kit for that. What that does is it just keeps the throttle super snappy, makes sure that the blow valve is functioning properly. Happy turbo system, happy driver. The other thing we are installing is the WiseTech external blow off valve adapters. And what that is, is basically the factory system is a recirculating blow off valve, meaning that blow off valve air goes back into the intake. And what that means is you don't get the nice noise, you know? What this is, is essentially a spacer. Inside and milled away is basically just some space for the air to vent. And because these systems run off of speed density, meaning they use a manifold pressure sensor, you don't have to have the blow valve air revented into the intake. We're gonna see if both of those things fit, and if they do, we may be the first people to do this. Not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. It will be nice turbo choo-choo noises. The blow-off valves on the Julia QV are located right on top of the intercoolers. It's literally just three bolts and a plug, and the factory valve comes right out. This. The WiseTech adapters are as simple of an install as it gets. It's simply a spacer and longer bolts. So you just slap it in, and you're done. <laughs> it sounds pretty good, man. It does. <laughs> With the amount of height that this system has added, the question is, once we get the GFB rebuild kit, is that going to add its own amount of height? Because the GFB does actually have its own body. So this system is going to be twice as high. It might actually hit these intakes, but these intakes do move, so I don't know. You can actually see the fins of the intercooler in there where the air passes through. And this is a watered air heat exchanger. Alright, let's get a sound clip with the hood open. for a bit of a test drive to see how it sounds on the road. super loud from inside, which is good, nor does it need to be. You don't hear it between shifts. Then. Now the question is, is, it, is the sound going to change once we put in the GFB kit because it's going to have stronger spring? Like, will there be more blow off valves? <laughs> Important thing to note, there is no chick engine light, no nothing. What do you think, do you approve? good i like it too it's it's simple but it's like i feel like with turbo cars it, you really are missing something if you don't have a blow off valve noise i don't know if that's just because we're used to 90s japanese ship boxes okay so now that we've established that the external blow off valve adapters sound cool let's actually try to get some performance 
So the blow-off valves come off the car again to get a GFB DV Plus blow-off valve rebuild kit. The kit consists of all the parts you need to make a more reliable, less leaky blow-off valve, all while maintaining the factory electronic solenoid. The WiseTech adapter, while not technically designed to work with the DV+, seems like it'll fit, but we won't know until we test it ourselves. Taking apart the factory blow-off valve is a massive pain. All of the plastics are extremely brittle and break off as soon as you touch them. Once it's all apart though, you just add in the GFB springs and pistons and put it all together again. And boom, this would be our entire assembly. We decided to install the GFB retrofitted blow off valves first before adding in the WiseTech adapters, just to test them out and to see if we would notice a difference in how the car vents boost pressure. Okay, so the GFB DV Plus valves sound like stock which is like very muted. Obviously it's recirculated, so you can't really hear it. And they're working, you can hear a psh. Tomorrow we will see what it's like with the GFB DV Plus and the Wise Tech, but we need longer bolts. So we'll get those tomorrow. Now that we've confirmed that the blow off elves are working great with their new GFB guts, we can add in the Wise Tech external venting adapters and see if we can have our cake and eat it too. Stronger boost holding and that psh. Goodness. Our one concern was the added height of the blow off valve hitting the intake, but while it does touch, it doesn't seem like it'll be much of a problem. Test out some bov. It's simple, but it sounds good. It sounds, I don't know, more natural than it did the last time. With the factory blow off valves, there was sort of a weird, I don't know, it sounded almost fake. It sounded like that Mighty Car Mods episode where they put a blow off valve on a bicycle. But now this one sounds just more legit. I think I prefer this sound overall. So I think this combination works. Clearly the blow off valve is working. Um, the new GFB clearly made a difference. Uh, it's got a stronger blow off valve. It's more direct. It sounds like it's letting off the boost pressure more quickly rather than sort of like a long prolonged like psh. It's like a psh, like a very quick, which makes sense because it has stronger springs. This should be much more reliable. Of course the throttle response I mean, off throttle, it definitely feels like it sort of like snaps a little bit quicker. The sound is, honestly, it's great. It's it's subtle enough that you can hear it and it's not like annoying, but you know, you get that sort of turbo drama that you want from a blow off valve. So that's an approve, I approve of that. Yeah, I approve of that wholeheartedly. That sounds great. This combination absolutely works. I definitely recommend doing both the VTA adapter as well as the GFB rebuild kit. It works, clearly it barely fits, but it fits. And uh, we'll see over time if there's any issues with how close the intake is to the actual top of the blow off valve, but I highly doubt it. It's just plastic sitting on top of plastic. That's all we got for you today, guys. I will drop a link for all of these parts right below the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. We got a lot of these crazy builds, more of this car, more of that car. Just let me know whatever you guys want to see. And a piece of advice for everyone. Like, 
don't be afraid to take on a job that maybe you think is too big or too foreign or something that you haven't done before. A lot of this stuff that we do really isn't that hard. You just need some basic tools and, you know, follow some directions. It's all nuts and bolts in the end. So yeah, get out there, go do a project of your own, and I will see you guys next time.